Uh, Sam Roberts at the home of Bedford Blues got into road on a Thursday night just before training. I've managed to catch up with uh, one of our illustrious coaches, Mr Nick Walsh. Nick, how are you? How have the boys digested everything that happened last weekend? Um, I think pretty well. I think, um, you know, they realise that um, if we start like that against, well, especially away from home or one of the sort of top three, four sides... Uh, we probably won't get out of jail. Um, we did play some fantastic rugby, but you know, I suppose we were lucky that we're at home, and you do play slightly better at home. And and um, you know, somehow we got out of a, a massive hole and killed the game brilliantly. But um, no, I think we realised that. Um, yeah, you know, it, hopefully that's a one-off. Um, well, you know, you know, we, when we went to Worcester and we went to Pirates, we started off like that, and we we never won the game. So. Um, we can't be like that on Saturday. Um, but the, look, the boys got to take a lot of confidence from it because we did play some amazing rugby and they did, did dig deep to um, get ourselves back and we did show a lot of composure and a, and a lot of character. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we've, we haven't done too much patting on the back. Yes, we've just scored some fantastic tries, played some great rugby, but we've got to be realistic as well. This weekend, um, not only is about a big league match against a big side, London Welsh, <laughs> Is there part of you seeing it as a four-day plan? Because we're, we're back down to Wales on Tuesday night, as I understand it. Are we not? You look uh, at me blankly. No, no, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've got that right. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it? Is it? I mean, because that's obviously four days of rugby. I mean, is there yeah. any part of, of you planning? Because I assume you're going to have to use every inch of the squad to, to play those two games, aren't you? Yeah, it's not just the two games. Then, you know, four, uh, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, three days yeah. after that, we play Birmingham. Yeah. So we've got a really tough schedule over the next, whatever, set actually seven, seven days from Saturday three games in seven days which is hard and it's going to really test the squad and some people have to back up from from either Saturday to Tuesday or Tuesday to Friday but you know we, we were prepared to do it before when we had the two games in three days so uh, but no yes we, obviously as coaches and uh, we, we've had to plan a little bit with teams and selection but no we are focusing definitely on this game first obviously because it's a massive game for us mm -hmm. Um, we want to go and beat London Welsh uh, for obvious reasons um, because it will keep us second in the league so um, then we worry about Swansea and again that, that's a big game for us because we want to stay or you know I know Mosey ahead of us but with them to play here uh, you know we want to be back top of our, our group in the BNI Cup and and then obviously we want to beat Birmingham here and, and get as many points as possible and again hopefully stay second so yeah th there is some preparation going in but the players just got to concentrate on Saturday coaches yes we can prepare a little bit differently and not differently but you know look ahead a little bit more but no we this is such a big game on Saturday we haven't played well against the top in the top four away from home so far mostly um, Worcester and uh, Pirates so we've got a big job to do and, and London Welsh will be smarting after their loss against Bristol and you know they lost to Rotherham away, and and you know we know the rivalry between our two teams. They will not want to get a third straight defeat against us this year. So. I mean they've had a couple of or a few uh, uh, results of late, which must must make you worry about the real London Welsh suddenly turning up on Saturday. There must be a part of your body that at some point it's got to it's got to click back into place for them because they are a class outfit. Yeah, they are, and they've got a you know they've got a very good side and they're well coached and. Yeah, you are waiting for them to click back into gear and and then play really well. But I, look, they could have lost every single game in the season. When it's Bedford, London, Welsh, it's a massive game and form really goes out the window. It's it's who turns up with, with a good game plan and executes a game plan, makes the least errors and tackles well and and does all the stuff that you know both sets of coaches will be asking of the players and who does that the best and and it will come down to sort of just a huge sort of passion and effort and. Hopefully we can we can do that. Final thing, a lot of people are starting to try and work out the machinations and the games left and everything. Is it positive from our point of view that it's completely in our hands? If we win every game, it doesn't matter what anyone else does. Yeah, definitely. That's what you want. You know, if we win our next three games, next three league matches, we'll be second. And um, you know, you don't want to be in a position where you know you're hoping for this team to win or this team to lose, etc. No, it's in our hands. And if if, if we don't make second place. Um, and we end up third or fourth. Well, that's, that's our problem. You know, it, we can go to London Welsh and put another building block into the second place. Um, but if we go and lose to London Welsh, then you know, then w maybe we will have to start looking. Hopefully, at Pirates at losing or something, and and us picking up a bonus point ahead of them or things like that. You know, but at the moment, yeah, 
it is literally in our hands and, and you know the guys are trained well this week um, you know we're going there with a clear game plan and just hope it'll come off um, you know we can't be any worse away from home than our last two sort of games like Pirates and Worcester so as long as we play a little bit better than that I'll be happy <laughs> Fair enough on that note good luck Saturday thanks, and we'll be thinking of you Cheers, Cheers Thanks sir